This is Dr. Rice. He's meeting with his patient's nurse, Nurse Smith, outside of their hospital room. She's gathering the final instructions so she can talk with the patient before he is discharged. Dr. Rice says, the patient's doing well. We need to decrease his medication. He'll go down to one pill a day. Let him know and he'll be good to go. This is Mr. J, Dr. Rice's patient. Mr. J is already dressed. He's been in the hospital for a while and he is ready to go home. Nurse Smith says, Mr. J, the doctor says you're doing great, but it's time to reduce your medication to one pill a day. Due to unrecognized hearing loss, Mr. J heard something else. Later that day, Mr. J's daughter comes home to check on him. She asks him, she says, Dad, did the doctor decide to reduce your medication? Mr. J responds. He says, he didn't say anything about that. Health care communication is complex, but it's so crucial. Hearing loss can lead to the breakdown of this communication chain. In the case we illustrated above, Mr. J misheard the nurse's instructions. When unrecognized hearing loss is involved, the crucial healthcare communication chain becomes fragile. These sorts of communication breakdowns occur across health systems every day, and it's driven by the fact that 33% of people over the age of 65 have hearing loss, yet less than 20% of those people correctly identify the hearing loss they have. These individuals happen to be three times as likely to experience adverse health effects. You can make a difference. We know that a variety of steps can really help. And it starts with you. First, remember to reduce background noise. Second, make sure the patient can see your face. Third, stand three feet in front of the patient. And fourth, ask questions to ensure the patient understands. Step two, you can place an audiology consult in the power chart. Check the info net for specific instructions for your hospital. And finally, Step three, audiology can come to assess the patient's hearing and provide an amplifier if required.